I'm gonna test the two biggest AI models in five productivity-based challenges to see which one truly delivers. Is ChatGPT still worth subscribing to? Well, I'll give you my conclusion at the end, but I think you'll be quite surprised with the results. Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez, and on this channel, we explore tech through the lens of productivity. Let's get into it. So challenge number one is task management and planning. And the objective is plan an ideal, highly productive day. So here's the prompt I'm gonna give each one of the AI models. Create a detailed itinerary for a weekday that includes work sessions, creative breaks, exercise and learning time. I have a meeting between 9 and 10 a.m. and have a workshop I need to facilitate between 2 and 3 p.m. Let's first see how ChatGPT handles this. Morning routine, 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. So it's gonna assume that I need to wake up at 6.30. Deep work session, and yeah, I mean, I guess first thing in the morning is probably when I do my most kind of best, most productive work. So half an hour to prepare for my meeting, then have the meeting. Healthy meal away from screens, good shout. This thing already seems to know me pretty well. It's all very succinct. There isn't a lot of detail. Uh, it has sort of segmented things pretty well. I like the kind of divider line. I like the emojis uh, and then wrap up work, review tasks and plan for the next day. I like that. So you plan for the next day at the end of your previous day. Uh, spending some time on personal projects in the evening that's really important i'd say probably is balanced but isn't particularly inspirational let's try deep seek now bearing in mind deep seek is a free tool it gives you this kind of chain of thoughts and it's pretty cool at first you're kind of you're reading through its thought process but also kind of annoying because you just want to know what it has to say okay so deep seek actually wants me to start an hour later than chat gpt so it's, it's saying wake up at 7 30 a.m which is a pretty nice touch no emojis for deep seek which is a bit of a shame i like the idea of waking up and avoiding screens doesn't always happen review meeting notes etc it's just giving you like extra little tidbits of information which uh, makes it feel more kind of personal focus uh, between 9 and 10 actively participate in the meeting great I already like this more than chat GPT it's already giving me tips that I think um, are really useful uh, between one and two workshop preparation then facilitate the workshop it says swap time blocks based on energy levels which i would definitely do and use apps like toggle for time tracking or headspace for mindfulness i've got to say guys i've got to give this round to deep seek chat gpt did a really good job and i think it probably knows a little bit more about me so it gave some really tailored specific things that i've searched on before but actually considering deep seek doesn't know much about me I would say I'd give it to Deep Sea. Challenge number two is about communication and professional writing. And the objective here is to test the ability to adapt tone and style for different professional scenarios. Now the three scenarios are sponsorship pitch, apology email, and a social media summary. So let's start with the sponsorship pitch. The prompt is write an engaging and friendly, short and succinct email to a potential sponsor for my YouTube channel, Feel Productive where tech meets productivity. The sponsor sells wooden desk accessories. Ask how they would feel about sponsoring my next video in exchange for a few of their premium accessories. So let's have a look at ChatGPT. So this is super succinct actually. There's not a lot here, but it's really to the point. Hi, I'm uh, Ez, the creator behind Feel Productive. Okay, that feels a little bit AIE kind of probably would have linked my YouTube channel to this email. Let's now take a look at DeepSeek. It's a little bit more wordy. I'm a huge fan and love how your premium wooden accessories combine style and functionality to create the perfect workspace. Would you be open to sponsoring the video in exchange for a few of your beautiful accessories? I like that. I, again, I really like this. This is um, still it doesn't have the link to my channel on there, but other than that, I actually, again, think DeepSeek has done a better job with what I was expecting. Okay, so let's try the apology email scenario. So the scenario reads like this. Draft a sincere, professional, but personal apology for missing an important work meeting with an external client that needed to understand our platform better. Ask if I can reschedule for next week. Do not make it sound like it was written by AI. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Hi, client's name. I sincerely apologize for missing our scheduled meeting. 
I know your time is valuable and I regret not being there, especially since this was an important discussion. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I probably want to reword it and maybe prompt it again a couple of times. But off the bat, that's not too bad. Let's try Deep Seek. By the way, the chain of thought thing that Deep Seek does isn't there anymore because I haven't selected Deep Think R1, which is their kind of more sophisticated model to solve uh, reasoning problems. Probably don't need it for these type of queries. Uh, I hope this finds you well. I want to sincerely apologize. This is not reflective of the value I place in our partnership or the importance of your time. Yeah, I think this one again, it just it uses more words, but I think it uses the words in a really useful way. It's not fluffy. They both feel really generic. They both don't really feel very personal, but I still prefer Deep Seek's response. Let's go with scenario number three. Okay, so scenario number three is a social media summary and simply I've asked it to summarize this news article, which is a link from The Verge. Um, and I've said to summarize it for two platforms, one for casual, so Twitter or X, and one professional summary for LinkedIn. ChatGPT uh, has been again really concise. So for Twitter, it says DeepSeek's new AI model claims to cut energy consumption significantly. Yeah, I guess it doesn't add a lot of um, curiosity to the summary. And then LinkedIn, DeepSeek has introduced an AI model that reportedly reduces energy usage. I think this has done a sterling job, honestly. Uh, it's probably saved me a few minutes as well in actually reading the article. Let's take a look at what DeepSeek does. Do people still add hashtags to tweets? I, I don't know. I like the that this tweet seems a bit longer and has emojis. And then with LinkedIn, it's also kind of rewording it in such a way that it sparked my curiosity. It's basically identified it as I'm writing a social media post, so I need to make it a bit more engaging. So again, scenario number three goes to DeepSeek. So overall in challenge number two, the winner is DeepSeek. Okay, challenge number three is all about debate and argumentation skills. So this one's a bit different. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to argue one thing, and then I'm gonna ask DeepSeek to argue against ChatGPT's reply. And the scenario is I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me an argument as to why Notion is the ultimate productivity app. So ChatGPT, Let's see. In the ever-evolving landscape of productivity tools, Notion stand at, stands out as the ultimate app. By the way, I really love Notion. Notion is one of my go-to tools, but I would argue it's probably not the ultimate productivity app. But having read through this, AI integration, scalable, cost-effective, it's really selling it. You know, if you're a solo entrepreneur, a student, this thing is for everyone. I like it. I, I mean, if I were to show this to someone who's never used Notion before and take them through this, they'd be really excited to use it, I would say. Okay, so I fed this through to DeepSeek. I've asked it to argue against what ChatGPT has just said. Okay, whilst Notion is undeniably a powerful and versatile productivity tool, it is not without its limitations and drawbacks. Steep learning curve, I would say, is pretty valid performance issue handwriting recognition good notes that's a really good point actually pricing for advanced features i think is valid i think notion can be quite expensive and over reliance on templates uh, some of these arguments are good and some of them are like yeah i i've got to say i'm gonna give chat gpt the win on this one i think there's definitely more of a compelling argument for it than against it even though i actually don't believe the statement myself by the way if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more tech and productivity content be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, challenge number four is creative ideation and content creation. And the objective of this one is to assess the creative capabilities of each AI. The scenario is brainstorm five innovative video ideas tailored for a productivity tech YouTube channel. This is probably something I do quite a lot using AI to be fair. So let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. So again, they're using emojis. I like the emojis. I like the way it's kind of delineating each idea. Okay, the ultimate productivity desk setup, AI powered edition. I love that. That is a cool idea. Can the iPad replace your laptop? The productivity showdown. Well, that kind of video has been made a million times. I used only automation for a week and this happened. The productivity app awards 2025, best and worst. Well, we're only 
just at the beginning of 2025, so I'm not sure how relevant that is right now. And Notion versus Mem, the future of AI note-taking. Not bad, not bad. Let's do the same thing for DeepSea. Asked it to do a bit more thinking, and I'm not using the DeepThink R1. And the reason I'm not using it is because throughout this recording, it has constantly told me that the server is too busy. Smart desk makeover, tech upgrades for ultimate productivity. Yeah, pretty pretty standard. AI versus human. Can ChatGPT plan my week better than me? The 24-hour productivity experiment. Can tech save my day? Okay, and the future of work. Five gadgets that will change how you work in 2024. They're a bit boring, they're a bit bland, they're a bit generic. So this challenge definitely goes to ChatGPT. Okay, challenge number five is all about speed, efficiency, in content creation. And there are three quick tasks involved in this. The first is to-do list generation. The second is article summarization. And the third is productivity tips. So let's have a look at to-do list generation on ChatGPT. So I've asked ChatGPT to create a detailed to-do list for launching a new YouTube series. And it's given me quite a comprehensive list of stuff. It's given me sort of headings and then step-by-step -step the things I should be considering. And it's really detailed. It's even given me at the end a way to scale the series, talking about like batch producing multiple episodes to maintain consistency. Let's see what DeepSeek offers. Okay, there's a lot less stuff to think about and it's numbered, which is useful. Define your series concept, research and validate your idea, plan your content. It's probably easier to follow in terms of the, the different steps. Yeah, I like it. It also, also gives me a long-term strategy. I think DeepSeek has done a better job, to be quite frank. So the first scenario goes to DeepSeek. Okay, the second scenario is article summarization. And I've simply asked it to condense this lengthy tech article into three key takeaways. Let's start with ChatGPT. Um, let's see what it does. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's given me three key takeaways. They're probably longer takeaways than I would have expected, but pretty comprehensive. Uh, integration of generative AI in productivity suites, employee training and adoption, enhanced collaboration and workflow. So yeah, I mean, I was expecting just those headings, but it's actually given me a little bit more, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I think it's pretty accurate as well. So, okay, let's do the same thing with DeepSeek. Oh man, these wait times are absolute killer. I'm gonna have to give the second scenario to ChatGPT just because I have tried doing this so many times with DeepSeek and I keep getting the same thing. Uh, let's go with the third scenario and see if we have any better luck. Okay, so the third scenario is generate five unique productivity hacks or shortcuts. Uh, let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. AI driven task prioritization. That's pretty cool. So instead of manually sorting tasks, feed your to-do list into ChatGPT and ask it to prioritize based on urgency, effort, and impact. At the 20 minute productivity audit, every Friday block 20 minutes to analyze what tools, workflows, or habits slowed you down that week. And number five, auto reply AI for distractions. Use ChatGPT powered email automation to auto respond to common inquiries. Okay, that's a really interesting one. So I really like that one. I've asked DeepSeek, let's hope for some better luck. Okay, so once again, I got that the server is busy. Please try again later. So I guess we'll never know what DeepSeek comes up with. But if you want to try asking DeepSeek at the point of watching this video, do let me know in the comments below if DeepSeek comes up with any better productivity hacks or shortcuts than ChatGPT. Okay, so challenge number five goes to ChatGPT just because it was working by default and so I was able to actually use it. DeepSeek edged out the first two challenges, but throughout this video, and you won't know this because it's been ed edited, that I wasn't getting responses either quickly or at all. So overall, you're getting a more mature product with ChatGPT. It's not always gonna give you better results by comparison. I genuinely believe that it's not quite there yet with DeepSeek, although hopefully you've seen from this experiment that it's scarily close. So I hope you enjoyed the experiment. ChatGPT ended up winning just about in the end. But if you want to see some of the other productivity tools that I use for my Mac, I'll leave a link to that video just up here. I'll see you on the next one.